let's just run through using our calculator, come up with how many risers we need, and then we'll make some notes in our model and see where that gets us. I'm just gonna, again, we'll, we'll measure from floor height to floor height, we're at 97 inches. So what I need to do is type in uh, 97 inches divided by 7.75, enter. That comes up with like 12 and a half risers. Well, we can't really do a half a riser. We gotta round up. This is gonna be the steepest stair allowed by code. If we round up just a notch, it's gonna be a comfortable stair. Let's call this one 13. I'll activate my label tool, uh, text tool, whatever that's called, and we're gonna say 13 risers, like that. All right, the next floor height is going to be 121.875. All right, so 121.875 divided by 7.75 brings us to 15.72. We're gonna round that up to 16. So I'll just throw a note in there at 16 risers like that. All right, and then our last uh, floor height. From finished floor to finished floor, we're talking about 110. 110 divided by 7.75, enter. That's gonna be 14.19. So let's just call that 15. So I'll go over here and type in 15 risers. In here, we're gonna go down to the basement. now. Uh, this one, you can see I put a note on the drawings to be 48 inches clear. So let's just get a reminder of that. I'll type 48, enter. All right, so basically, our first stair, I'm going to measure back uh, into uh, back into the 48-inch offset there. The first uh, tread that I'm going to make is not actually going to count. I'll make more sense in just a moment, all right? So let's just draw in our, uh, let's see, this is gonna be 48 comma 11, enter. Everything should be a component and I'll create that. All right, so now we're good to go. And you know what? I'm gonna hide our field notes. Um, I'm going to turn off my x-ray mode in this way and I'll hit shift A, that's my uh, shortcut for my axes. Just clean that up just a notch. All right, so now, what we wanna do is make a copy of this tread up to our next floor. And then we're going to remember 13 risers, okay? So I'm going to make a copy using my move tool. I click once to pick it up. I tap control or option on the Mac to leave a copy behind. I tap the up arrow key to lock my blue axis. And all I gotta do is put my cursor on that other finished floor. That's at 97. Now I type in 13, divi 13 divided by, enter. So that gives me 13 divisions between those two copies. That just did the math for me. Like, look at what this is. Um, we're looking at 7.4615. What I need to do is select this bottom tread and make a copy to that corner, okay? So let me do that again. We're gonna pre-select it using the select tool. Using the move tool, I will just tap control, option on the Mac, click to place it, and we're gonna do that uh, 14X enter. All right, I did one extra, my mistake, like that. Okay, and that's okay that we overshot. We were using an 11 inch tread as a, um, just as a starting point, a guide, and we're gonna sort that out and fix it, all right? I actually learned a really cool trick when it comes to nosing. So now these guys we don't need, this guy we also don't need, and this guy we don't need, all right? So now what I've got going on is I've got all my stairs marching up here. Uh, I've got a proper rise, you know, from here to here, 7.4615, here to here. Each one of these is perfect. All right, now I also, I have this uh, plugin called Selection Toys. I can go to my instances and select active. And then I like to make everything into a group. Okay, now I can scale this group. I'll tap the S key. You know, this, uh, I think I mentioned in some of the correspondence that really the big deal today, it's all about the scale tool. All right, so I can scale it to snap back to this point here, like that. All right, so remember, we don't wanna scale up and down because that's been locked in stone, you know, that's all settled. 
And now I just scaled it to kind of meet at this um, meet at this wall here at this uh, overhang. And now what I can do is I'm actually going to pull this down. What's these guys are going to be at three and five eight. So I'll say three space five slash eight. Enter. All right, and that gets me my three and five eighths inch uh, tread. These treads actually already exist. Hey, they're already sitting in the garage. Let me show you. This is a picture of those treads. They're going to be really cool. All right. So that's uh, what those guys look like. This guy now is three and five eighths. We're good on our code. That's less than four inches. But now, you know, this distance here is 10.33. Well, check this out. I can just scale this guy back this way, click to finish, and type 11 inches enter. So now this guy is exactly. 11 inches. You can see that we've got just a little bit of overhang here. So like uh, just uh, like five eighths roughly. So something like that. So just a little bit of overhang. Let's get the next two flights of stairs knocked out. And I'm going to do this in the lightning round. Let's make it quick. Cool. Let's go like this. I'm just going to grab one of these uh, treads that already exists and I'm going to make a copy of it up here. I'm gonna cut it back out of there, paste in place. I don't think I want my thickness yet. So I'm gonna remove that top piece from the selection, make this into a component, create it. We're going to remind ourselves 16 risers, all right? So I'm going to make a copy of this straight up, tap control, option on the Mac, 16 divisions, enter. Good to go. Now. I can make a copy like this. And you know what? I'm almost goofing up here. Let's just take, uh, I'm going to go to instances, select active, and I'm going to remove these two, delete everything. I need to start this. This is kind of a confusing thing. They, the, the bottom one kind of doesn't count, right? So I just need to make a copy of it up and say 15x enter like that. So that looks good. And then I can get rid of that. And now I need to select my instances and I'm just going to group it, scale it and stretch it over here. The information you need, the measurements that you need, the input you need is almost always on your screen already. I mean, once you get rolling, it's already there. So watch, like I can double click in here and I can pre-select this surface. And if I use my push pull tool, I don't actually have to like type in 3.625. I can just use a stair that I already built down low. Just a little trick. All right, now this guy you can see, I can scale it again and type 11 inches enter. Remember, when you're using this technique with the scale tool, you actually have to click to start the scale and click again to finish and then type in your 11 inches enter. If I just type 11 enter, it, it just like multiple, you know, like scales it at a factor of 11. But if I type 11 inches enter, it makes it a solid 11 inches in that direction. So now you can see as these guys go, our nosing here, you know, half an inch roughly. Let's keep rocking. Uh, we'll do one more here. I'm going to grab this piece right there and I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to cut it back out of here, paste in place. That's, I use paste in place all the time. Make this a component, create, unhide my field notes. We've got 15 risers here. So I'm going to make a copy of this, tap the up arrow key, snap it to our top plate, 15 divided by enter, and yeah, 15 risers, we're good. And then I'm gonna take this guy here and make a copy, and we're gonna call that uh, 15x enter. I can never get that right, ever get that right. That's okay. It's always best to just overshoot, um, add an extra, and then you can uh, delete whatever you don't need. Uh, right click, uh, instances, select active, scale, and stretch this guy back over here. I'll make it a group, and now let's hop in. Let's use that same trick. Pre-select that surface, activate the push-pull tool, and pull that down. So now, We've got all of our rise and our run adjusted perfectly. 
And just to kind of give a once over on what we got going on here, these, uh, this I did not adjust. Let me get that. So we'll scale this to 11 inches enter. That my friends is how you get it done. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe button and then follow me over to the full stair math made easy live stream recording. I kick things off with some drone footage of the actual stairwell construction and I promise the presentation is packed with advanced tips and tricks specifically for architects and interior designers. I'll see you there.